Hey guys, what's up? It's Sick Flows. I am back with the weekly tutorial. This one I'm going to be showing you the basics of Cubase, recording, exporting, and other things you need to know in order to master Cubase. Alright guys, let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to go ahead and set up your microphone. So to do that, if you haven't done it yet or you don't know how, you go to Devices and device setup and the next thing you click on is this right here B VST audio system and on this drop down menu you're gonna go ahead and select your driver my driver is the M audio USB because I have the um, M audio interface and when you click on it you're gonna go ahead and click switch and then click OK now the next thing you're gonna go ahead and go back to devices and go to VST connections and then you're gonna go into inputs Select your audio device from here and go into outputs and do the same. So you see I have it selected. Now the next thing is how to actually record. To um, go ahead and um, have recording enabled is the easiest thing to do. All you got to do is click on the track that you want to record on. As you see when I'm clicking on the tracks, the rec um, recording button right here, the red button becomes enabled. So all you do is click on the track that you want to record on. And then you go up here and just click the record button and then it starts recording. Now, if you want to hear yourself while you're recording and go ahead and monitor like everything that, you know, all your vocals, you're going to click this little um, speaker um, button right here. And as you see right here, as I'm talking, I can actually see the peaks and everything in my level. So that's a good thing, too. And you can actually hear yourself on the headphones while you're um doing your music which I think it helps a lot for me a lot of people don't like using it but if you do like using it that's how you do that now another thing that people are having trouble with is exporting so for the exporting um, what, I, what you're gonna go ahead and do is just go to file and then you click export and then do the audio mix down and see most likely you're gonna get this on um, error the left and right locators must be set so if you do the, get that error you're gonna click OK and the way to set the locators is you click P on your keyboard and you see this little blue thing that just opened up right here on the side you're gonna go ahead and drag it all the way to the end of the song so wherever the song ends you're gonna drag it to so let me drag it here and then once you drag it you're gonna go back to file and go to export and then go to audio mix down now okay when you're in the audio mix down you select your file name just gonna call this one sample. You select where you want it to um, end up. I have it going to my desktop and the YouTube videos. Now for the file format, this is thing right here. Um, if you're gonna go ahead and send it to a master mastering engineer, you're gonna want to save it as a WAV file. So if you want to go ahead and save it as a WAV file, you're gonna click on WAV file, and then you're just gonna go ahead and export it. Now, if you have done the mastering yourself on Cubase, you're going to go to MPEG, one layer, three file. Click that. Make sure the high quality mode is checked off. Insert ID three. Because the ID is to go ahead and just like name the song and, you know, the title, the artist, the album, the track number, the year recorded, all that stuff. So make sure you have that set off. I always liked it because like, you know, when you're playing it on your iPod, you have that ability that you know that it shows the artist and stuff like that. Go ahead and drag the bit rate to 320, and this shall automatically be at 44.1 kilohertz. Now the sample rate right here as well. Just leave all that alone, and you're gonna go ahead and export. <clears throat> That's how you export the your song. <clears throat> now another thing is, if you guys are downloading an instrumental from SoundClick like I like to do. Make sure you know the tempo. If you don't know the tempo of the song, go ahead and message like you know the artist, or just try to go for beats that have tempos. And this is the tempo right here. This is how fast the song would be. So let's say the beat is like at a tempo of 90, and you're recording at a tempo of 120 and leaving it. It messes with the beat. It's not going to sound exactly how you listen to it. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on tempo right here. And let's say this instrumental here is a tempo of 90. What you're going to go ahead and do is just type in 90 and click enter. And then it slows down the song or it sets the song to the tempo that it was supposed to be at. 
So just always keep that in mind too. That comes that plays a big part in the song. You know, you don't want your song sounding like kind of weird because you you're at the wrong tempo. So another thing that I want to show you guys is how to actually get into inserts. Um, some people actually ask me like, um, some of the plugins they don't have. Make sure you have Cubase Five and not Cubase LE. You can see it on the top left corner right here. Or any Cubase, just make sure it's not LE because I think LE doesn't come with as many plugins. But this is the inserts. This is where you're gonna have your EQ, um, your compression, um, you know, any type of those things, your DSers, your gates. They all go in inserts. Now for your delays and your um and reverb, they're gonna go into send. And the way to go ahead and, and send that to there is you're gonna go to project. You're going to add a track and an FX channel. And then you're going to select the effect. Let's say I wanted to have a delay. I'm going to go ahead and go to delay, mono delay. And then click OK. And it's going to show this. This is the uh, um, the effect itself. So you can either mess with it or just pick a... Uh, uh, just go ahead and pick a preset. I'm going to go ahead to sweep vocal delay. And just exit it out. Now the next thing you're going to do is say you want to put that delay on a track. You're going to click on the track you want it. You're going to click on send. Click on any of these boxes. And you see it pop up here. The FX1 mono delay. And you click on it. Now when you click on it, you're going to want to turn it on. And to turn it on, you click on this button right here. It should turn blue. And then this little slider is just to, to mess with the output level of the delay. So just play with it until you get the certain amount that you want. So make sure that all your delays and all your reverbs go under sense. And then channel is to go ahead, you know, and right here you get to put, you know, if you do a negative 30, it goes negative 30 to the left. You can just slide it. You go to the right, you know, center, center, obviously. And then here you have your um, output levels and you can turn it down, turn it up, leave it at zero. So yeah, guys, I hope I helped you out with that. If you guys have any more questions about Cubase, let me know. I will be doing um, Adobe Audition 3 and Adobe Audition 5 next week. So tune in for that. And I hope I get, if I helped you guys out, make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week.